Blade is an acronym. Builders of a legacy after the destruction of Earth. Quite fitting, I think. It's a relatively new organization. Up there in space, we had plenty of provisions, and a crew trained to handle the limited amount of situations we might encounter in our travels. But of course, all that changed after we lost most of our ship and came crashing down here on Mira. We needed food, water, search and rescue teams, surveyors, police. The list goes on and on. It was too much for the provisional government to manage on its own, so Blade was born. The idea was to have one central organization with different disciplines to fill these various roles. Its core was pulled from the Coalition military, so it's mostly former soldiers. But fighting isn't our most important duty. Right now we have a single top priority that supersedes all others. The search for and recovery of the Lifehold. Take a look at this. The White Whale was designed to carry an exceedingly large number of passengers, all of them held in stasis. All housed in a structure called the Lifehold. This is a complete schematic of that facility. Only essential personnel were conscious and active for the journey from Earth. The flight crew, maintenance engineers. And of course, some military so we could defend ourselves if necessary. But the vast majority were in the Lifehold are in the lifehold. With any luck, they're all still there, in stasis, waiting to be rescued. But there's a problem. We now know the lifehold broke apart along with the rest of the ship when we came down on Mira. What we don't know is exactly where all the pieces landed. Not very comforting, I know. Blade's top priority now is locating the missing units. Ah, uh, yes. All citizens of NLA are required to register their name, age, and occupation. We also ask you report any personal assets and take a short survey regarding your current state of health. All purely as a precaution. I'm sure you understand. As the caretakers of humanity's survival, we all have certain responsibilities. And hey, it's not all bad. Registering gets you access to all kinds of public services. In any case, I'm sure this is all a lot to digest. You'll be wanting some time. Ms. Ku, even I'm tired of hearing myself speak. Why don't you take our guest out for some air? Perhaps a tour of the administrative district? Yes, sir. Come on, we'll keep this briefing brief.
You know, it's not every day we're authorized to let a civilian tour the administrative district. Yeah. Nagi must really, really want her to join Blade. The AD is a bit different from the other districts. It's got everything a Blade would need, all in one place, without any extra fluff. Get a load of that skill! Even the way that they walk is so cool! Oh yeah, work it, baby! Mm -mm. Remember what a skell is? That gorgeous exoskeleton that just went by? Basically like the most incredible, awesomest super weapons ever? Lasers, force fields, bipedal and vehicular transformations. Sorry, just... I get so excited whenever I think about it. Originally, skells were developed as a defensive measure to counter potential alien threats. It wasn't enough to save Earth, though. We were outnumbered and outgunned. Still, just look around you. New LA has gone from basically nothing to this in just two short months. We could never have come so far so fast without scale technology. I'd love to get you into one to see for yourself, but it's not that simple. Well, yeah, duh. For one thing, only blades are allowed to pilot scales. And even then, you need a license. These aren't toys we're talking about. They're complex machines with powerful weapons. And they're a precious resource. We only have so many of them to go around. So yes, as you might imagine, the certification process is a fairly rigorous one. I'm sure you're thinking, where do I sign up for the test? But it's not that simple. They choose you, not the other way around. You can't just walk in the front door and volunteer. There is some criteria. The details are largely hidden, but basically HQ only allows the cream of the crop to take the test. Blades who go above and beyond in their duties and for the people of New LA in general. So what do you say? If you become a blade and work hard, I'm sure it'll only be a matter of time before they tap you on the shoulder. Speaking of work, that reminds me. Why don't we check out the mission control board first? That's where we take on our assignments. Good call. Let's head on over. So this is mission control. We don't have a dispatch system yet, so Blades usually choose their own assignments. Everyone comes here and selects from the missions available on the board. And it's not just official Blade tasks. Anyone with a request is free to post here. Businesses, citizens, whoever. Yeah, it's basically how anything gets done in New LA, so the board is constantly updating. Just about every Blade will stop by here at some point in their shift. It's like our second home. You'll always find a number of blades around here, blowing off steam or browsing mission control for their next assignment. Whenever I get freed up, I'll stop here first thing to check for any missions I might be suited for. Likewise. And if the assignment seems too tough to handle solo, that's what the scout console is for. We should show you that next. Hey, who's giving this tour anyway? We also have the scout console if the assignment seems too tough to handle solo. And uh, Elma just said that, didn't she? Hey!
Yes. Uh. The Blade Scout Console. When the going gets tough, the tough go to the Scout Console. You know, to get tougher. If you do end up joining us, you'll quickly realize just how important this little kiosk is. A lot of the mission control assignments are too much for any one blade to handle. They tend to call for multiple members with specialized knowledge or unique skills. This console lets you search for and recruit other blades to fill those roles for just such an occasion. You can't spell blade without team. Sort of. Anyway, awesome, right? So you're ready to join up? Hang on, Lynn. Take it easy, would you? What? I'm just saying you'd have to be some kind of an idiot not to want to join blade. Or maybe a crazy person. Oh. And here I thought you might be pressuring our guest. Apology accepted. Now, how about a little shopping? And I'm not talking about the stuff over in the commercial district. I'm talking about Armory Alley. So this street's what we call Armory Alley. Blades can requisition equipment from any of the vendors here. I won't lie, most Blade members face danger on a daily basis. Having the latest gear isn't about impressing your friends. It's a matter of survival. True enough. And that goes not only for your personal armor and weapons, what we call ground gear, but for skell equipment as well. You can even buy whole skells. Can you imagine owning your own skell? Ah... Uh, huh? Oh, right, the door. I think all that's left is the heart of Blade itself. Blade Tower. Hey! So yeah, Blade Tower. When we come here, it's usually to stop by Blade HQ. The higher-ups, like Secretary Nagi and Commander Vandom, will spend most of their day here. The government leaders, too. They're based in the tower. Guys like our new Director General Maurice Chausson, for example. Blades sometimes report to the leadership here after we finish key assignments. You'll want to remember this place. And that about does it for our tour. So, what do you think? Pretty amazing setup, right? You can't wait to join Blade, right? Okay, Lynn, seriously, that's enough. We're not here to make a sales pitch. We just want you to have all the facts so you can make an informed decision to join us, or not. Now that you've seen where and how we work, hopefully it made a good impression, but your decision will be just that, your decision. In any case, let's head back to the barracks. Secretary Nagi will be waiting.
Yeah? home yes very amusing who wants a fresh cup of tea thank you Ms. Gu but I can't stay long I just wanted to pass along a request from your commanding officer commander Vandom hmm does it have anything to do with our new arrival correct he stopped by while you were out on your tour he said he'll come back but that I shouldn't wait to ask you <laughs> here we go I bet I can guess. You probably can. He wants to fast-track our new friend here for blade duty with a training assignment. What in the hell are we waiting for? As he put it. The commander does have a way with words. <laughs> Makes even my pitch sound smooth. I explained about the memory issues, but he didn't see it as a problem. And to be honest, given our current need for blade recruits, I can't say I entirely disagree. Hey, it's not me you need to convince. Blade service is voluntary, remember? Of course, and I would never force or coerce anyone. Well, friend, what do you say? Can we count on you to do your part? I knew you'd make the right choice. Welcome to the organization. Elma, she can start on your team. You'll begin training immediately. Yes, Mr. Secretary. With pleasure. All right. Welcome to the Cool Kids Club. Now then, let's discuss that training assignment. We've decided to start you out on a probe installation, just to get your feet wet. I guess we should back up a bit. Here in New LA, we're using a specialized computer system called FrontierNav to help us deploy a sensor grid across Mira. A network of data probes that allows us to monitor conditions and collect all kinds of information about the planet. Expanding that grid and filling in the blind spots is one of Blade's highest priorities. Here, take a look at this. What you're seeing on screen is a terrain map that includes New LA and the surrounding landmass. As you can see, we've divided the area into a series of hexagonal blocks. We call these blocks segments, and together they form our grid. We determined this was the most efficient pattern given the limited range of our probes. Based on it, we know exactly where we need the probes to go. Now we just have to install them. The sooner the better, as far as I'm concerned. The frontier nav probes can also detect the general locations of living things in the vicinity, which comes in handy if we need to track down a blade or another citizen. Yes, quite handy indeed. So for this first exercise, you'll be heading here, to that white segment. Go there, install the data probe, and then come back home. Got it, east of the city. In that case, we can take the east gate out of the administrative district. Right? We should be there in no time. I'll leave the details on the data probe installation procedure to you, Elma. Of course, Mr. Secretary. All right, you two. Shall we? Yeah! Training or not, let's go install the hell out of that probe. 